Hello everybody. It rained really good last night and now it's in the 60s which is perfectly fine with me. We don't have to have the air conditioner on today. It feels really nice out here. It's still cloudy. Don't know if it'll rain anymore but that's okay if it does. And here's how these flowers are going. I mean there's no actual flowers yet but there will be. And his squashes are getting, squash plants are getting taller. Whatever else he's got in here, watermelons and cantaloupe and all that. So, we'll have food coming out of here. And then on the other side of those trees is the power lines and a two track and I can hear somebody running around out there on a four wheeler or something. But yeah, if you go right straight through those trees you end up on the two track where the power lines go through. But haven't done much of anything yet today. Had a, a cup of coffee. And I see there's a dead branch here to take care of. Oh, it's still attached, but it's not doing well. What are you doing up there? Yeah. Having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You still have to cut all this wood and get it stacked. Yeah, I know. Someday. Yep. Hey, Tug. There you are in your favorite place. Oh, you're all muddy. You're so dirty. But you don't like baths. You'll jump out of the bathtub on us, so we can't give you a bath. Right? Yeah, you hear that? I think that's that dirt bike. You hear that, don't ya? The neighbor kid runs around on a dirt bike like he's crazy all the time. You don't like that noise, do ya? No. This one is coming along. They're starting to vine out, I see. Some of them. Weird. purple polka dotted leaves and this one the leaves are turning all red but it's doing the best out of all three garden tires or tire gardens got some little flowers starting here and there's these these were purple but they died and there's just all kinds of stuff in here so, it's doing the best out of all of them. Miraculously, after tearing apart the bravada and tearing apart the shed, we finally found my Wacom tablet. So, now I can use that on Photoshop for actual artwork. And we found this scanner that I lost for like the whole five years I've been here. So, that's good. Let's have to clean it up. But, anyway... At least I finally found some of my crap. We don't have any closets here. There isn't a single closet in this house to put things away in. So we have to put the extra stuff in the shed and in the uh, in the bravada. And Don's sister said to have a yard sale and sell it all, but no, it's stuff that I want, that I use. And uh, her husband said just be, that because I have to put it away, I don't need it. He said, if it's something you have to put away, you don't need it. No, that's not true. It's valuable stuff. There's even photo albums. But I just don't have any room here in the house for them. Because there isn't a single closet here in this house. And the ones that were here, Don ripped out years ago. So there is no storage in the house. So it has to be stored outside. And if we bring it here in the house, it'll just be sitting out everywhere, heaped up everywhere. So... They don't understand. They think that I should throw it all away or sell it all. That's stupid. And this folder has some of my artwork in it. I found it out there. This is from... Oh, it doesn't say, but it was like 2007 or something like that. And this is from 2002. This is really old. 
Bubbles from My Little Pony and Applejack from My Little Pony and I'm talking the original 1980s My Little Pony not the new one and this and just a custom one and then this was a line art free line art that I printed and colored and I don't know when this was from but it was the first time I tried out those Prismacolor markers so that would have to be about 2007 I would think and a wolf I drew and this was a dog my brother used to have named Scooter I used a photo from yeah this says 2007 a photo from him that he put on Facebook or my maybe MySpace way back then and a dragon that's 2007 and a My Little Pony drawing I did it was supposed to be like a scary Halloween scene it was for a a contest that I was entering on the old discussion group uh, My Little Pony Arena it must be from 2006 because they kicked me off there for life in 2006 because they didn't like me and this was line art that I colored with Prismacolor pencils colored pencils this was also line art and this and that I mean way back in the 2000s people used to give out free line art that other people could color so I used to print them and do them or do them in Photoshop on the computer and this one and then this was from a, a contest on that place about the year before I got kicked off and I got like second place and I won Halloween socks for coloring that. People liked it. And a wolf I drew. 2005. And I did this. This was 2002. Okami. 2008. Inuyasha. 2006. A mouse. There's no year on that, but I know it's really old. And this I didn't color at all, I just printed it and stuck it in there. That's a pretty weird line art, but I colored it. Same with that. And this. And then this was the page from uh, My Little Pony Arena saying that I won that contest. 2004 no it says joint no that isn't 2006 and then I don't know but anyway I don't know I printed weird things back then and this is from Neopets if anybody remembers that I colored that and I drew Inuyasha here but he looks weird and crooked and strange 2005 and this was my custom My Little Pony, uh, Desert Wind, this too. And I drew this a long time ago, to, that's also 2002, and this is 2006. That's something somebody else drew for me a very long time ago, no dates on it, but a very long time ago. This was 2002. And this is, I don't know, but more line art. This is Glory. There used to be a thing on those groups called Adoptables, where you drew all these little things and people would put them in their signatures, so I drew up a bunch for people. And that's Glory. Oh, and this is for the B.U.B. Love letter from last year. A Mackinac Island thing. And this was my, uh, this is from last year, my, my bib. I still need to decorate this year's bib. I'm not sure what I'll put on it. Uh, that's from last year. And now, oh, it's empty except for an old ticket to the machine shop to see who was the orgy. 
Uh, and oh yeah, this is Jay Gordon's signature, the lead singer. Scribbledy scribble. A set list from a concert. A piece of black paper. I guess that's it. But yeah, there's a little tour of this thing that I just found out in the shed. I know there's some glare on there, but you guys have seen this a million times in the background of our videos, but this is another piece of artwork that I did in Photoshop. It was line art from a DeviantArt user called Wolf250, and she was giving it out for free for people to color, and she all she said was, let me see your final results. So I ended up using it as a college assignment when I was going to Alpena Community College for the Photoshop class. And it got printed in this big size here for the art show. The, uh, the art show was your final exam. You had to put all your assignments in it and you had to be there. That was your final exam for all the art classes. But it's been on the wall here for a while. I think this was, oh... 2012 or something like that or no maybe even any it's sometime between 2007 and 2012 there's no year on it but anyway that was an example of the digital art I do which I want to draw something myself really soon here and not use somebody else's line art and then color it in Photoshop like this see what I can come up with now that I have the Wacom tablet in the house. And Don put the generator over by the shed and he's letting the gas run out of it so that it doesn't uh, go stale again. Yeah, there's not much gas in there, just a little bit. Yeah, but if we don't have to use it right away, it'll go stale again. Yeah, no. We don't want that again. Yeah, I had to clean out the cup again on the carburetor again today to keep it running. Yeah. It must have been still a little bit of stuff in the tank I didn't get out. Yeah. But be running out soon. And I found these for Robin, Earl's wife from Earl's Life. That's what she always says in the in her in their videos. But anyway, she does cross stitching. This is a brand new one, not opened. And I have one more somewhere that I can't find. And then I actually did this one. But here's the leftover floss from it and the pattern. She can have the pattern if she wants to do it. Because I have a problem with my left eye. In 2007, I was told it was macular degeneration. And then last year, I was told by another eye doctor that that's not what it is, and they don't know what it is. But in 2007, the back of this eye started to bleed. And it was weird, and it was like I had... It, it's, it's like when you look at the sun, and then you look away, and there's a spot. But it never goes away. So I went to the eye doctor and they had to send me to Traverse City for laser surgery to stop the bleeding. But now there's a bunch of scarring back in there. So I have no central vision. So if I go like this, there's a, I can see all the way around, but there's a black spot right in the center, which sucks. And my right eye has adapted and I see pretty well normal when I have uh, both eyes open except I don't have any depth perception anymore. So there are times when I'm reaching for something and I close my fingers too soon and then I feel stupid or I drop things. It's made me more clumsy. But my point of this is I'm going to give Robin all my cross stitch stuff because it's so hard to thread a needle now. And with cross stitch you have to change the floss many, many times for all the different colors. And <clears throat> when I get really, really up close stuff really up close then everything goes double thanks to this problem that can never be fixed it'll never get better and hopefully it never happens to my right eye or then I will be pretty well blind with no central vision in both eyes and I won't be able to do anything but anyway cross stitching I like to do it but threading the needle is almost impossible and it's too much of a pain in the ass so I'll give Robin all my cross stitch stuff and I found the first two things and there's a bigger one somewhere that I will find eventually that is brand new and unopened and she can have that one too. So I've been drawing this. I drew half a cat. I know you can't see that very well. 
And then I tried to use the mirror function that I was taught at Alpena Community College, but I made a little bit of a mistake. So now the nose is really wide, but anyway, I have it colored and I made a new layer for the shading and next is the shading. But first we're going to have some chicken and fries for dinner first, because I'm really hungry. But I'm definitely making use of this thing. And you use this pen, this side draws and this side erases like a pencil eraser. And you teach yourself to look at the screen and not the tablet. And that way you can tell what's going on because this is not one of those expensive ones with a screen that you can see. I mean, like the most recent Wacom tablet they made was actually a screen right here. Which that would be cool, but this one was $300 itself way back in 2011. I can't imagine what a brand new one with the screen right on it would be. I think it would be pretty awful. Okay, that's done. That's my attempt at doing a galaxy background. But that is... I decided to make it Blue Star from the Warriors books after she goes to Star Clan. And this is supposed to represent the star that people always put on her forehead in fan art to, you know, say that she was a leader and that she's in Star Clan, apparently from what I understand. So I'll go put this on DeviantArt now and I hope people like it. I hope you guys like it. Uh, next time, I know the mistakes I made, next time I'll draw it a little different. I'll make sure the nose comes up this way, like the nose line and over and the eyes will be a little bigger. And the reason I did the mirror thing in the first place was to make sure the eyes were even and the ears were even and they taught us that in our Photoshop class at in college. So that way uh, you don't end up with so many mistakes. Strike that. I forgot her whiskers. Now she's done. There. Now it's done. I know it doesn't look very good over the camera, so I'll insert it right here. Well, dinner was good, and Don made more cookies. He's been making cookies, sugar cookies, a whole lot lately. And I've just been editing, and we've been watching Ash vs. Evil Dead on Netflix. Uh, I found out there's a new season of Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee coming out on July 19th, so that's pretty cool. I always like that show. But, otherwise, the night's pretty well over. It's 10 o'clock already, so we're going to say good night, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say good night. Say good morning. Good night, Tog. You're petting his head with your foot. <laughs> yep, that's where he put his head at, so... Yeah. And we'll see you next time.